Danny Watkins has always had an athletic advantage. Just ask mom. He was always the biggest kid. He uh, um, always had his own mind of everything he did. He had his own little way of doing things. He always got it done, but he always had his own little way of doing it. And usually his way always was turned out to be pretty good. And it certainly has. But long before Danny Watkins was a top NFL draft pick, he was a force in a different sport, making a name for himself on the ice. You know, I was always a little bigger than the other kids, and so they threw me on the defense. And, and as I got a little bit older, the coaches kind of liked the, the rough style, physical, natural play and kept rolling with that and and I mean I, I got to the point where I loved it you know I knew that I had three fighting penalties before I was out of the game so I was using all three and I was saving that last that last penalty till about there was one minute left in the third period <laughs> so you're a goon you admit you're a goon right on the, on the ice I do the finer points of the game <laughs> so that I will say that the finer points made Danny a coveted piece of his junior hockey team and thoughts of a pro career entered his parents' mind. But Danny had other ideas, choosing his dream over that of mom and dad's. I think that was more our dream. And he actually had letters, like after he was finished, he had letters that came in. And we were in the car one time, and he had been with the fire department and stuff like that. And he had all this opportunity that he could start going further with his hockey and stuff like that. And he just said, uh, all of a sudden, he just kind of said, you know, he says, I think I'm going to carry on with the fire department and I'm going to give up hockey. And we just, we just went, okay, if that's what you want. And my poor husband, I remember he was just about choking. <laughs> Nowadays, hockey is just for fun. And on this particular night in West Kelowna, a pickup game at the local rink has brought out his firefighter brethren for a heated game with Danny in the middle. How's this work again? We're going to put the little black thing in the back of the net, right? Go ahead. I'm not going. This isn't good. Back to the miners, son. <laughs> I don't even care. I'm so tired. What happened to the net? Don't worry, the ref ain't doing nothing anyway. Oh! I think I'm washed up. Hey, I'm gonna call the flyers up after this and be like, hey, look at my tape. And the reviews of Watkins' return to the ice were mixed. I don't know what he brings athletically. I'm still trying to figure that out. Um, he's just a great guy to hang out with. He's fun on, I mean, chirping each other on the ice, just having a good time. You know, no, uh, no, no concerns, no cares, just get out there and skate around, have a good time. So just, just chirping each other and uh, lightens the mood, have a, just a good time. Danny as a hockey player is fantastic. He um, played D with me here tonight, and uh, we were on the same shift for quite a few times in the game here, and he was just great. He's, he's over 300 pounds, and he was going hard, and passing that puck back and forth, and we can rely on Danny any time that way, as we always could. Just full of laughter, he's fun, works hard. I didn't see much game out there. I, I would say his game is, uh, is blocking. <laughs> Stopping guys from getting to the goal. It's pro probably really an overwhelmed to football. Well, Danny may be the biggest guy out on the ice, and certainly he's the only professional athlete in this game. But once the skates were laced and the puck was dropped, this playing surface was level, and he was just one of the guys. Well, I think it helps this game because uh, just the size of him is intimidating. So when you go into the boards and he's playing D, you know, guys are going to take a step back a little bit there before you, you go in with them. Uh, hindering him while you're pushing over 300 pounds uh, going down the ice there, it's, uh, you start puffing and puffing pretty quick there. But even now, he thinks his ability for the finer points of the game are a perfect fit for Philadelphia. Just a lot of the, the skating and movement involved with it. It required, I think it it was able to carry over to the football field real easy, just the knee bend and moving your feet and, and using your hands a bit. And I think, I think it, was, it was a pretty easy transition for me. I was able to carry it over and a lot of the skills that you needed in hockey was able to use in football. In West Kelowna, Greg Murphy, Comcast Sportsnet.